namo dasa bhagavato arahato samasambuddhasa namo dasa bhagavato arahato samasambuddhasa namo dasa bhagavato arahato samasambuddhasa today mahaprinibana sota the buddha's last days but then about ambapalika kadizens eh Sati Sambhazanya, mindfulness meditation and clear comprehension or full awareness meditation. According to the Mahaparinipana Sota, the Buddha stayed, the Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha stayed in Nadika village as long as they wished, as long as the Buddha wished. After staying in Nadika village, the Buddha went to Wesali country, the Wajis, Wajis countries. When he reached the Wajis country, Wesali countries, then the Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha stayed in Ambabali's mango grove, mango garden. Amba Pali, you know Amba Pali. Uh, Amba Pali is the Khatizans, uh, the top Khatizans in Wesali country. Is it? Then he, he stayed in, uh, the Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha stayed in Amba Pali's gardens. When the Buddha was living in Amba Pali's Khatizans, uh, they also translate ming, mingo women, mingo women, mingo lady. Amba Pali, Amba is mingo. Uh, Amba Pali, no? Amba Pali, mingo, uh, mingo women. So she, uh, the gardens, mingo gardens belong to Amba Pali, Khatizans. The Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha stay in Amba Pali's mingo gardens. When the Buddha was staying in Ambabali's mango gardens, then the Buddha taught Sadi Sambhajanya, mindfulness and clear comprehension of full awareness, or full awareness to Bhikkhu Sangha. You know why? Uh, Clear comprehension, uh, satis and bazenya, satis, you know, the four sati padhana, or the practice of sati padhana meditations, to stay with the objects of sati padhana, uh, sati, objects or four objects of satis, to be mindful with the objects of satis. Uh, about that. Uh, reminded Bhikkhu Sangha to stay with the sadiqs, mindfulness. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, only just brief explanation. Uh, Sato Bhikkhu Bhikkhu, uh, Bhikkhu Bhikkhu, we have here some bachano, ayawo amaka anu sasani, the Buddha says, okay? Sato Bhikkhu Bhikkhu, we have here some bachano, ayawo amaka anu sasani, Bhikkhu, you should stay with mindfulness and clear comprehension. Oh, this is our instructions to you. Oh, instructions to you. Yeah. After that, how is a man mindful, etc. Then the Buddha continued to explain how to practice or how to stay with mindfulness. Then after that, the Buddha will continue, you know, Sambhaja no Hodi. How a bhikkhu is how how a bhikkhu stay with the clear comprehensions. Oh. Then the Buddha also continued to explain Ida Bhikkhu Bhikkhu Abhi Gandhi Pate Gandhi Sambhajana Kari Hoti or oh. Ida Bhikkhu Bhikkhu stay with the full awareness or clear comprehension when he is going forward and backward, etc. Then the Buddha taught Sati Patana meditation and 
Sambajanya full awareness or clear comprehensions, meditations to Bhikkhu Sangha. Okay, why the Buddha taught Satipatthana meditations and full awareness meditations to Bhikkhu Sangha and Amba Pali's Khatizans Mango Garden? This is the reason because of Amba Pali. Because of Amba Pali. Amba Pali Khatizan is very beautiful. So we need to explain about the Amba Pali's Khatizans. The sun stories before explain before explaining about you know Satipatthana meditations and Sambhajanya full awareness meditations. You know Amba Pali. Amba Pali. Now she is the uh, top citizen in Wesali country. Then I will explain from beginning. Uh, I will explain about Katizen, uh, Ambabali Katizens from beginning. Beginning from former lives, is it? Ambabali was, you know, the during the Foxa Buddha. She was the younger sister of Foxa Buddha. During the Foxa Buddha times, she accumulated a lot of kusala, especially dharma kusala. By doing generous cities, to uh, by offerings, many requests to Hosa Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha, then she made an expression to be beautiful and heavy lights. Oh, this is one reason, is it? Then whenever she was born as a human being, Dewi or she was beautiful. During Sikhi Buddha, you know, at the time of Sikhi Buddha, she was ordained as a bhikkhuni. Then what she is doing, there were many bhikkhuni during the Sikhi Buddha. They, they went to one big pagoda, like Shurigong Pagoda, together with many bhikkhuni, other bhikkhunis. Uh, they, are, uh, they were being respect to the pagoda together with the other bhikkhunis. At the times, you know, one bhikkhuni who is walking in front of her, she was Arahanda. Then uh, suddenly, uh, unexpectedly, uh, she sneezed. Then, you know, the saliva come out from her mouth, then drop down on the ground of the pagoda. Then Ambabali Bhikkhuni saw the saliva on the ground of the Chetia pagoda. Then what happened? She asked, which kati, uh, prostitute, which Khatizen split on the ground of Pagoda? Split on the ground of the Pagoda. Uh, she used which Khatizen, you know, which Khatizen, Kanika in Pali. Which prostitutes split on the ground of Chetia Pagoda? Then she abused. The Bekuni. Actually, this Bekuni was Arahanda. Wazibera uh, Tidansha must be careful with their mouth. Is it? She accused, she abused the Arahanda Bekuni with the root word, harsh words. Then what happened? Because of this abusive word, after passing away, although she was a Bekuni, after passing away, she fell into full full state, especially her many years. When she escaped uh, harmony, according to the test, uh, when she escaped from the health, she was born as a human being, lady and human watch. Whenever she became a human being, 
Whenever she became, she became prostitute for one uh, ten thousand lives. Ten thousand lives. You know, she used only she abused uh, the Aranda Bekuni only one time with root words. But she also fell into her many times. When she became a lady and human ward, she became prostitute, only cut distance for 10,000 lives. Hmm, many. They end this way during the Kasapa Buddha times. She was ordained as Pekuni again. Then she also practiced, uh, she also fulfilled the three trainings during the Kasapa Buddha times as a Bekuni. She fulfilled the Sila, Bekuni Sila. She also practiced meditations to attain concentration. She also practiced Vipassana. In this way, she fulfilled three Seika, three trainings during the Kasapa Buddha times. During Kasapa Buddha time, she also made an exploration to be reborn as a human being, spontaneous born, with, uh, you know, spontaneous, spontaneous born, Upapa Pati Sandi, Upapa Pati Sandi, like Dewa, Brahma, you know, when Dewa and Brahma uh, appear, they're not like human being, they immediately appear as the complete body. Uh, like, for example, Dewa, about 20 years of their age, immediately appear. Then until they pass away, for example, in Dowering the Dewa around 1,000 years or Dowering the Dewa, then their appearance will never change. Only just about 20 years of their age. Oh, they pass away with this appearance. They will only just about 16 years of their age, immediately appear. Uh, 60 years lady, 60 years Dewi. Then they also exist, exist uh, up to the end of their life, their lifespan. Then they also pass away with the appearance of the 16 years. Oh, like this. Oh, this is called spontaneous born. Oh, they, uh, they were born spontaneously, no, not like human beings, no need to take uh, conception in mother's womb, etc then grow slowly, slowly. Then they come out from mother's womb. They also need to wait to grow, is it? to become adult for a long time. Then after that, slowly, slowly, oh, then they pass away. Not like, not like this. Uh, spontaneous for the Dewa and Brahma, okay, their appearance never changed until they pass away. Well, this is the difference. So if you are a human being, you should not, uh, spend, you should not waste your time with the enjoyment of sensual pleasure. There's nothing to enjoy with the sensual pleasure in human world. But you know, they are fighting a lot of people in the world, from country to country, to country party to party, or group to group, or group to group, etc. Is it? They are fighting using very powerful weapons. That is why the war is not peaceful nowadays. Actually, the war, the human war, when you are in human war, only just trying to fulfill the three trainings, especially now trying to practice uh, meditation, especially to, to attain nirvana, to escape from those suffering. If you wish to enjoy with the sensual pleasure, sure, when you become a day war or day week, then you cannot avoid the enjoyment of sensual pleasure there. Then we'll never be old. Okay, and then you pass away, you can enjoy. Then also, all are handsome and beautiful, not like human beings, is it? Then, when she, uh, she was in Kasaba Buddha's time, she also fulfilled the three trainings. After that, she made an aspiration to be born spontaneously in human watch. Then because of this, uh, her aspirations, then what, were, what happened? Okay, during our Buddha times, uh, before maybe Buddhas appear, uh, she was born 
as a human being spontaneously, spontaneously without mother, uh, only just in the, uh, you know, the, the, on the tree, on the tree. She immediately appear on the tree as uh, maybe a child. Then the gardener sought her and maybe the, uh, he brought her. Then she took care. He, he took care of the ladies. Then when she became adult, what happened? Oh, that because of this reason, her name was Ambapali. No? The Ambapali means the mango trees, mango, mango tree or mango gardeners. Mango gardeners took care of her to become adult. Because of this reason, her name is Ambapali. Ambapali. She was very beautiful. She was very beautiful. Then what happened? Because of this reason, many princes from Wesali country, you know, there are many princes in Wesali country, not only one princess. Uh, they also rule as a group of princes alternately, according to the book, etc. Then many princes want to, uh, wants to uh, want to marry with the Ambapali. Okay, uh, I, I will marry with her. They, they also, I will marry with her. The other princess also, I, I want to, uh, I want to take to marry with her. I want to take her to marry in this way. Then what will happen? They are nearly, uh, they, they are going to fight each other to take the Ambapali. Because of this reason, then finally they decide this not to fight each other because of lady, then we were assigned the lady as pro, uh, citizens in our country. Okay, citizens in our country. Then she will, she will be there with every princess. Not only, uh, she is not belong to only one prince, belong to all princes. So she began citizens in Wesley country. Then because uh, she was very beautiful, then her news suppressed throughout the world, up to Rajagaha country. During that time, you know, Bhimbisara King was ruled in Rajagaha country. Then he also heard the news. Ambabali Kutizen is very beautiful. Then, she also, he also, when he was young, he also wanted to enjoy with the Amber Bali. What happened? Then he disguised as the normal persons. Then he called uh, one or two attendants together. Then they go to the Wesali country. They went to the Wesali country and enjoy with the Amber Bali. After sometimes enjoyment, with the Ambapali citizens, then because of Bhimbisara Kens, then she got pregnant. She got pregnant. Pregnant, is it? Then she also, uh, she also informed the Bhimbisara Ken. Then because of you, then I have pregnant, etc. Then at the time, Bhimbisara Ken also confessed, I am a Ken of Rajagaha country, baby Sara. Then please take care of the baby. Oh, then she also, uh, he also supported her to take care of his uh, sons. Then later on, you know, she get back a child, baby. He was a boy. Then later on, he became a bakus. His name is Wimala Kontenya. Wimala Kontenya. Then he, he was maybe one of the uh, great disciples of the Buddha. Great disciple of the Buddha later. He became Arahanta later. Is it? Then, if someone wants to enjoy with the Ambabali citizens only just for one night, they need to pay for 1,000 US dollars. Uh, during this time, 1,000 
kahapana one thousand dollars only just for one night. Uh, is it? it? It is very expensive. Is it? Uh, because of Ambapali, Wesali country also, you know, Wesali country, the uh, economy was grown. Uh, uh, economy was developed. Hmm. Ambapali, many, many like Bimbi Saraken and the other princes, rich person, rich men uh, from other country also comes to Wesali country to enjoy. Oh. Uh, like the uh, sensual pleasure with the Cartesians and Babali. Then they have a lot of income, a lot of in income. Because of this reason, the Wesali country grew a lot, uh, developed a lot. Maybe like some other country, or uh, their country is developing an economy because of uh, uh, prostitutes or Cartesians. <laughs> Maybe like uh, Thailand or something like this, is it? Uh, because of uh, the lady, the Wesali country also develop. Uh, de the Wesali country also develop an economy. Then, what happened? The Bimbisara king, the king of Rajaga country, also saw this situation. Oh, uh, then she can make a lot of money. Uh, she can make a lot of money for uh, Wesali country. Then. We also need to choose one beautiful lady to be Cartesians in our countries. You know, or he has this idea after enjoying with the Ambapali. Then finally, uh, he chose one beautiful lady. Her name is, you know, Salawadi. Salawadi. She appointed the Salawadi as Cartesian in Rajaka country later on. Then, he also enjoyed with the Salawati. Uh, yes, Salawati. Then what, what happened? Because of Bimbi Sara's enjoyment with the Salawati, then Salawati also got pregnant, pregnancies. Who are they? They are uh, Jiwaka, the physician, Dr. Jiwaka, who made the treatments for Buddhas. And also, you know, Sirima, Chiwaka is the younger sister, Sirima, or Siri, Sirima. She is also Cartesian later on, after Salawati, her mother, is it? Oh, they, this is, they are the, the same age during uh, this time. Salawati began Cartesian in Rajaga country because of Pembi Sara and uh, other princes. Or other maybe you know the Abia princes. Oh, sorry, Abia Abia princes. Then Jiwaka, or uh, she also got pregnancies, and maybe Jiwaka and Sirima become her daughter and her son and daughters, or oh, something like this. Then recently, uh, the Rajaga country was also developing an economy because of Salawadi, like this. Or oh, maybe this is the uh, reasons. Now, uh, many countries, they also make such kinds of business in the world, is it? And this is such kinds of business, very, very good business for them, possible, easy to get money, easy to make money, even during the border times. Then, when the border, the border was, Keeping Sati Patana meditation practice and Sambajanya full awareness meditation practice to Beku Sangha and Ambapali's Mango Garden. Because when the when the Beku Sangha, some Beku, maybe especially Puto Jana Beku, ordinary Bekus, when they see Ambapali Kartisan, beautiful Ambapali Kartisans, then they will have raga attachment to Ambapali. Even they may disrupt because of Ambapali, is it? Because of this reason, before meeting the Ambapali, the Buddha taught Satipatthana meditation practice and full awareness meditation practice to his disciples, to practice in advance. Then when they are practicing Satipatthana meditations and full awareness meditations, 
They although they see Amba Bali beautiful cartesians, or uh, their mind will not be shaken, or uh, they will not have too much attachment to Amba Bali cartesians, or uh, because of this reason, the Buddha taught Satipatthana meditation and full awareness meditations to his disciple before meeting with Amba Bali cartesians. One time also actually. Although the Buddha taught Satipatthana and full awareness, some bhikkhu maybe uh, don't practice carefully. Then when they saw seven bhikkhus, no? seven bhikkhu, maybe there are many bhikkhu sanghas, but most of them are practicing Satipatthana meditations and full awareness meditations, clear comprehensions meditation, but some they may not practice. For example, like our meditation center, there are many bhikkhu, Seale, yogi, etc. Although we ask them to practice meditation, but some practice, some of them may not practice, may not uh, follow our instructions carefully, or oh, like this. Then seven bhikkhu saw Ambapali one time. Then what happened? They have raga, they have attachment to Ambapali. Then their mind was shaken because of Ambapali. Then Venerable Ananda. Uh, when they, they approached Venerable Ananda to solve the problem, then Venerable Ananda admonished students by reciting seven stanzas. At the time only, they can remove their attachment to Amba Pali. Uh, they can be found in Therakata, okay? Then when the Buddha was when the Buddha was living in Amba Pali's mango groups, mango gardens, then okay, like, uh, because of this reason, the Buddha explained, okay, we will uh, explain the complete explanations so about Amba Pali here, is it? Uh, then Amba Pali, then when the Buddha was living in Amba Pali's mango gardens, Together with Bhikkhu Sanghas, then what happened? What happens to me here? Uh, he also have the news. Then he went to uh, Hamingo Gardens to meet the Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha. Then she invited the Buddha's for and food and next day. Uh, then the Buddha also accepted her invitations. Her invitations. Then she came with, uh, she came with, she came back to her house from the mango groups from the Buddha. At that time, you know, many Lesui princes also heard the Buddha was living in our Wesali country and uh, Amba Bali's mango garden. Then we go and meet. Uh, then what happened? Uh, they also went to the Buddha. Then Amba Bali. Came, came back from the Buddha, taking her carry, uh, carrots, is it? Rata, rata, her, her carrots, her car. Yeah, many Lesui, Lesui princes also went to the Buddha by taking the carrots. Then yeah, Amba Bali, what happened? Amba Bali, uh, ask her drivers to help young princess carriage with her carriage, her car. Uh, she also asked her drivers to avoid not to head to the other prince, other princess carriage, or uh, in this way. Then when they have other princess carriage, with her carriage, then the other princess says, "When you had our, uh, when you had our carriage with your carriage, carriage, is it?" Then at that time she says, "I was very, I am very happy because I invited the Buddhas and Bhikkhu Sanghas for ans ans offerings for tomorrow." Then the Buddha also accepted my invitation. So the Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha were comes to. Uh, uh, my house for and food tomorrow. Because of this reason, then uh, even I cannot avoid not to hit your courage. 
Oh, she says like this. Then what happened? Then many rich princes also, when they have their word from Ambabali citizens, then can you uh, can you sell can you sell your aunt's maids with one thousand uh, one hundred thousand dollars? Okay, we will get one hundred thousand dollars to you. Then please allow us to invite the voters for and give it and offerings for tomorrow. Then what she says, no, even you give the whole Wesali country, then I will not exchange with my important and given to the voter. Or she says like this. Then when they have the news, then let's we princess also. And you call, oh, they, they, they shake their hands, they snip their fingers. Oh, we, Amber Bali Kadizen win us, Amber Bali Kadizen win us, we feel Amber Bali Kadizen in this way, is it? Then after that, the last we princess went to the border, uh, went to the border, what happened? Oh, okay. Uh, Okay, let's we okay, we shall finish the Amber Pali. Then after that, what happened? Amber Pali. Then uh, okay, next uh, Amber Pali. Okay, only, only just uh, explanations. Then let's we princess went to the border. Then they met the border. When they met the Boda, uh, they also invite uh, the Boda also gave a new modern art talk to let's wish. Then what happened? During this time, when they comes to mango gardens, they wear many different colors, you know, many princes and many ladies, many prince, many princes from Wesali country. They went to the Boda together using very good vehicles. Then they also wear many different colors. Some are wearing the blue color, some are wearing the yellow color clothes, some are wearing the red color clothes, etc. Then when the Buddha saw the Lesui princess with the very colorful Lesui princess and Lesui audience, then the Buddha taught to Beku Sanghas. Beku, if you had never seen, you know, if you had never seen Dewa from Dawarinda Dewa runs, then you should look at those lists with audience. They are similar to, they are a lot like Dewa from Dawarinda Dewa Ran, or the Oda says to them. The Oda says to them in this way, is it? See, lists with audience, lists with people, lists with princess, but colorful lists with princess. The reason is that this is the for wafer or Beku Sangha. Why? Some Beku are negligent. They don't want to practice meditation diligently. The Buddha saw those kinds of Bekus. Then to encourage them, uh, to persuade them with the accomplishment of let we can. When they practice Samana Dhamma, Bhikkhu's Dhamma, diligently, uh, such kinds of accomplishment, such kinds of way is not so difficult to obtain. Uh, the Buddha want to persuade with the accomplishment of less with princes. Is it? Uh, the Buddha want to persuade his disciples, his disciples Bhikkhu's, with the accomplishment of wealth or less with princes. Because of this reason, the Buddha encouraged them to see the less we pray the uh, less we audience in this way. Then, if you practice samana dhamma, bhikkhus dhamma, like the three trainings carefully, then you can you can attain such kinds of words easily. Then they become energetic and they will practice those who have attachment to such kinds of words. This is another reason. That this is one reason. Another reason is although they are very worthy 
they are very beautiful. They are very harmonious. They are very harmonious each other now. But after some time, you know, Ajata Sattu King were destroying the whole Wesali country. They were key, many princes from Wesali country. Then they were Despia very soon. But when they know this situation, then Beku, uh, Sam Beku also, they will have sense of urgency, Sam Wega. Although they are very worthy, very beautiful, very harmonious each other, then because of Ajata Satu Ken, their country Despia, they also die within short times. So Sabe Sankara and Nature, all formations are infeminine, or they will contemplate Unnature lacana, the characteristics of unnature. Uh, when they see this condition, then even they can become arhanda together with full analytic and knowledges. Because of this benefit, the Buddha encouraged the Bhikkhu Sanghas to see the less we princess, less we princess uh, as beauty. Oh, is it? Usually the Buddha uh, asks when you see. Uh, beautiful, agreeable objects, then you should not have, uh, you should not pay attention as beautiful or handsome. Men or women, don't pay attention to their beautiful uh, appearance, beautiful organs, etc. Not to have attachment. If only just control your mind, put your mind inside meditation objects. The Buddha encouraged in this way only. But when the less we, princes come to mango gardens, then the Buddha encouraged the Bhikkhu Sanghas to see them like towering the Dewa, or like this. Oh. Then when they had uh, this condition, because of this benefit, the Buddha encouraged them to see the Lesui princes like towering the Dewa, or towering the Dewa, is it? Then some became Arhanda in this way. Then, you know, this one I explained the, about less, uh, less we princess in advance. Then, you know, next day, Amba Bali also, according, uh, uh, they also invited the Buddha for Anspu, but they, the Buddha rejected their invitation. I have already accepted invitation from Amba Bali Khatizen for tomorrow Anspu. Then, what happened? Then they also, uh, they also snapped their fingers. Oh, we lost. We lost the Ambapadi Khadizans. Oh, Ambapadi Khadizan won us in this way, is it? Then next day, according to Ambapadi Khadizans invitation, the Buddha and Bhikkhu Sangha went to her house for Ansput. Then the Buddha gave uh, a new modern talk to Ambapadi Khadizans. Then she also offered the Ambabali guardians to the big uh, Buddha. You know, uh, the Buddha here, Imahambande Araman Buddha Bamukasa Bhikkhu Sangasa Dami. Bande, I offer this mango garden to Bhikkhu Sangha head behind the Buddha. Or oh, after, uh, after the Anskeben, the uh, Ambabali offer Ha Ambapa uh, Mango Gardens to the Buddha together with Bhikkhu Sangha. Oh, uh, that is why. Then, after some times, you know, Ambapali also a human being. That is why she became old. When she became old age, then, you know, nobody comes to us to enjoy with the sensual pleasure. At the time, what happened? Then she was ordained as Bhikkhu Ni. Bhikkhu Ni. And uh, her son's guidance. At the time, her son, Wimala Kondanya, already became Arhanda. Already became Arhanda. Then she also ordained under her son. Uh, she was also ordained as Bhikkhuni under her son. Then, according to her son's guidance, she also practiced meditation. Oh. Uh, actually, the uh, according to her son's Dhamma talk, then she was ordained as Bhikkhuni. Then she also practiced under her, her son's guidance. Then what happened? She compared her appearance. You know, when she was young, she was very beautiful. Now, when she 
become old. Her appearance become very old. She, she compares between these two appearances, two conditions. Then after that, she feel some we got sense of urgency. Then what happened? Uh, pay attention the nature of impermanence and nature characteristics. Then she practiced vipassana. Then finally, she became arhanda together with many uh, psychic power, uh, analytic, analytical knowledges. Then Ambabadi Kartisan also became arhanda later on. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the story of Ambapali Katizens. Is it? Then the Buddha also taught about Ambapali Katizens and Vinaya and uh, Vinaya Pitaka and also here. And also Tiragat, uh, Tirigata, etc. Abadana, etc. Is it? Then here, before the, the Buddha taught Satipatthana meditation and Sambhajanya, Full awareness or clear, clear comprehension meditations to Bhikkhu Sangha before meeting the Ambapali Khatizans. Then what is this? Okay, who uh, uh, Udama does you can show? Sado Bhikkhu Bhikkhu Uhariya Sambhajano Ayang Ho Amagan Nu Sazani. Oh, Sado Bhikkhu Bhikkhu Uhariya Sambhajano Ayang Ho Amagan Nu Sazani. Bhikkhu, uh, a, monks, a monks should be mindful and clearly aware. This is our instruction to you. How is a monk mindful? Or mindful, you know, Ida Bhikkhu, Bhikkhu, next page. Ida Bhikkhu, Bhikkhu, Kaya Kaya, Nupasi, Viharati, Adabi, Sambhaja, No, Sati, Mawunya, Loge, Abhijja, Domanasa, here a bhikkhu abides contemplating the body as a body. Audience fully aware and mindful, having put away covetousness and grief for the world. Oh. Yeah. Then another one, you know. Viranasu Virana Nubasi Viharati. Adabi Samajano Zati Mawinya Loge Beja Dominasan. Or the same. He uh, here bhikkhus abides contemplating feelings as feelings. Or they say, then chaita chaita nupasi viharati bhikkhu abides contemplating mind as mind. Then dhamme su dhamma nupasi viharati bhikkhus abides contemplating mind objects, dhamma objects as dhamma objects, mind objects. Ardens, fully aware and mindful, having put away covetousness and grief for the world. Or oh, this is how a bhikkhu is mindful. Uh, when they are practicing satipatthana, they are mindful. What are the objects of satipatthana? Kaya, body, virana, feeling, chaitat, mind, dhamma, dhamma objects or mind objects. Oh, they are, these four are the objects of mindfulness. Sati. That is why they are called satipatthana, the establishment of mindfulness. So also translate four foundations of mindfulness. Four foundations, establishment of mindfulness in this way. Then when they are practicing, you know, okay, for example, Kaya Nupasana Stiprana, according to Masatiprana Sota, Anabana meditation, when they are paying attention, the, the body or the breath, or this is body, Kaya, okay, Kaya Nupasana Stiprana, they practice. Uh, in breath, out breath, the, the mind, uh, with the mindfulness. When they observe the in breath and out breath, what will happen? They will also experience the long breath when they breathe slowly. They will also experience the short breath when they breathe quickly. Or they observe the long breath and short breath with mindfulness. They observe the whole body or whole body or long breath and short breath with mindfulness. Then when their concentrations become deeper, when they mindful, their mindfulness becomes stronger, then concentration will be better and better, deeper and deeper. Then the breath will become subtle. When the breath becomes subtle, they also observe the subtle breath with mindfulness. In this way, they can stay with the breath out just deeply for a long time, many times. 
Even they are sitting for two hours, three hours, etc. They don't want to stop the meditation practice. Oh, finally, you know, the nimitta, the sign of concentration or cause of the concentration appear step by step. Then taking the sign of concentration, nimitta, then they can attain up to jhana's concentration state. Oh, when they attain jhana's concentration and anapana meditation, oh, when they are practicing anapana meditation, they are practicing kaya nupasana, satipatana, contemplating of body. Is it? Then when they attain jhana's concentration, based on this jhana's concentration, for example, they can continue to practice four elements meditation to be able to discern rupa as they really are. When they are practicing rupa meditation, beginning from four elements meditation, what happened? Or well, they are also practicing kaya nupasana, step tana, contemplating of the body. Uh, before this also, they can also practice the titubas of the body, uh, foundness, asuba, meditation, etc. They are also kaya nupasana, satipatthana. Uh, then at that time, okay, they can practice uh, four, four elements, meditation, etc. Uh, then they are practicing kaya nupasana, satipatthana, contemplating of the body. Then they can continue to practice nama meditation. For example, and I do anapana, the first jhana, imagine from the first jhana, they pay attention to those jhana witi, mind of process, jhana mind of process. And this witi, you know, ewe oka es manotra vajana prikama vajara nuloma kodrabu, many times jhana jhavana, etc. Then in, uh, in each mind moment, there is virana. Then pay attention to the Virana, uh, pay attention to their characteristics, etc. Then what happened? They are contemplating on Virana. Virana cannot arise alone. They arise together with the other Chaita and Chitasika mental factors. Then they also continue to practice the other mental factors. Oh. Okay. Then they should also observe, they, also, they should also descend chaita in each mind moment throughout the witi. Pay attention to their respective characteristics. Then what will happen? They are contemplating in mind. Oh, this is a chaita nupasana, contemplating of the mind. Then, not only mind cannot arise alone, it arises together with the other mental factors. Then they should also continue to analyze or continue to contemplate the other remaining mental factors, such as fasa, etc., senya, etc. When they are contemplating, then or there will be dhamma nupasana, contemplating of dhamma, uh, dhamma objects or mind objects, dhamma nupasana. Is it? So this is a uh, nama meditation state, nama meditation state. Then in this way, they contemplate full satipatthana. You know, when they contemplate rupa, they will be kaya nupasana satipatthana. When they contemplate nama beginning from virana, will be virana nupasana satipatthana. When they contemplate nama beginning from uh, chaita, mind, there will be chaita nupasana satipatthana. There will be many different mind, kusala mind or agusala mind. Kusala also Maybe Kamavachara Kusala, Rupavachara Kusala, or Arupavachara Kusala. They all can be considered as mind, many different mind. Is it? Virana also will be many different Virana accordingly. Maybe Sukha Virana, pleasant feeling, Dokha Virana, painful feeling, and Adokha Sukha Virana, neither painful nor pleasant feeling, or something like this. Or they can contemplate them, they can descend them as they really are, they can contemplate them as they really are. There will be, uh, you know, Virana Nupasana, Chaita Nupasana, and Dhamma Nupasana, Stiprana. Then when they are practicing Nama, Rupa, or Five Khandas together, they are contemplating uh, uh, Five Aggregates. Then in this way, they can practice dependent origination. Later on, they can continue to practice Vipassana. Then objects are the same. Kaya, Virana, Chaita, Dhamma. They are Actually, they are five khandhas or nama rupa only. 
Then when they are contemplating or descending or contemplate, contemplating the Nama Rupa or Faikana, they are contemplating four Sati Patana, the objects of four Sati Patana. In this way, the Vipassana knowledge becomes mature. Finally, they can realize Nibbana. Or these are four Sati Patana practices. Not only this one here, then another one, clear comprehension. Katensa Bhikkhu, Bhikkhu, Sambhajana, Hodi, another one, is it? How a Bhikkhu, uh, how is a man clearly aware? Uh, clearly aware. Ida Bhikkhu, Bhikkhu, Bhikkhande, Patekande, Sambhajana, Kari, Hodi. You know, a Bhikkhu is one who is in full awareness when going forward and returning. Then when they are practicing Rupa or Nama or Faikanda or Vipassana, what will happen? Or uh, in in their kuti or in their monastery, they go for what? At that time, there are five khanda. You know, nama and rupa or five khanda only. When they return, there will be five khanda or nama rupa only. For example, you want to go, you want to go ahead. What will happen? There's a mind want, that want to go ahead. Oh, this mind uh, produce the chaitaja rupa. Mind produce materiality to go forward. At that time, there are many uh, many rupa are arising in your body, or mainly chaitaja rupa. Then they are rupa khanda. That the mind want to go there with mindfulness. That mind is a chaita. Then this mind arise together with associated mental factors, chaita sika. Then what will happen? There is a virana, chaita, and dhamma, and nama. So all together, nama rupa or the first object of the Tipatana or Haikana, they are the same. Then you only just go pay attention, Nama Rupa or the pay attention, contemplating the nature or arising and perishing or Nama Rupa or Hai Aggregate. Then you are uh, Peku, uh, you, you, you are who act in full awareness when going forward and returning. In the same way, in looking forward or back, he is aware of what he is doing. And looking for what? Also at the time, also Nama Rupa or Faikana. You pay attention to those Nama Rupa and Faikana as they really are, then you are contemplating full Sati Patana. Is it? And bending and stretching. Okay, sometimes you bend your body or you stretch your lens, etc. At the time also, Nama Rupa and Faikana only. They are the objects of Sati Sati mindfulness. Then you only just pay attention Nama Rupa or Faikanda according to the stage. For example, uh, Rupa meditation state only just pay attention Paramatha Rupa. In Nama meditation state, pay attention Nama. Or Nama Rupa together, you only just pay attention Nama Rupa together or Faikanda. In Vipassana state, pay attention the arising and perishing. Arising and perishing or Nama Rupa or Faikanda. Then what happened? Contemplating as a nature, nature, doka, doka, anatta, anatta. What happened? Then you are aware of what you are doing and bending and stretching. In the same way, the other, you know, Samenji de Pasadi, then Sangadipada Siwarani, another page. Sangadipada Siwarana Dharani, and carrying his inner robe. Of the robe and bold, he is aware of what he is doing. The same. And number five, in eating, you know, uh, asite, pide, kaide, saide, sambajana, kari, hodi, or uh, in eating, drinking, chewing, and serving, he is aware of what he is doing. The same way when you are eating, drinking, uh, chew, chewing, etc., then there are also five kanda. You only just pay attention. Nama Rupa as they really are. Then in Vipassana state, pay attention they are arising perishing or perishing. You contemplate them as anaja, anaja, doka, doka, anata, anata. Or then you are uh, aware of, you, you are uh, doing such kinds of then with awareness. Then Gade Ochara Pasawa Kame Samajana Kari Hodi next page. Number six. Osara Pasawa Kami, you know, impatient excrement or urine. He is aware of what he is doing. The same, you practice according to the stages. Pay attention, Nama Rupa or Faikanda as they really are. 
then you are mindful. You are aware of, uh, you have clear comprehension. Then another one, Gade Chite Ni Sengne, Sote Chagri De, Sote Chagri De, Basi De, Tongni Bawe Sambajana Kari Hoti, and walking, standing, sitting, or lying down, and keeping awake, and speaking, or and staying silent. He is aware of what he is doing. Or uh, tell me, uh, he is uh, understand when you are standing, uh, when you are going, walking, uh, standing, lying down, or uh, sitting, when you are awake and speaking, okay, only you, you just aware of Nama Rupa and every posture, then you are aware of what you are doing. Uh, according to your meditation practice. Then, then, it won't call big way, big way, Sambhaja no hoti, but this is how a man is clearly aware. Or a man should be mindful and clearly aware. This is our instruction to you. Or the Buddha gave the instruction, you know, Satipatthana meditation practice, eh? clear awareness, clearly awareness, or maybe full awareness or clear comprehensions meditations to his disciple. Then, you know, just now I already explained that most of the bhikkhu sangha are practicing satipatthana and clear comprehension because of this reason. Although they see beautiful Ambabali cartesians, or their mind is not shaken. They have no attachment to Ambabali cartesians. But some bhikkhu, seven bhikkhu, you know, they, they may have lack of meditation practice. Uh, then because of this reason, when they saw Ambabali cartesians, they have attachment. Then Panarava Ananda admonished to them by reciting seven stanza. Then they can also they can also destroy, they can also remove attachments. Their attachment to Khatizen, beautiful Khatizen. Then, then, you know, in our life, in your life, in daily life, you will meet a lot of beautiful girls, you will meet a lot of handsome men, and not to have attachment, not only the uh, uh, living being, also many things. Uh, that's to be attachment, attest, is it? To be attached, many things, very beautiful car, very houses, very thing, and shopping mall, etc. Then not to have attachment to them, then you should practice Satipatthana meditation, mindfulness or mindfulness meditation. Then you should also practice Sambhajanya meditation, uh, clearly aware clear awareness or full awareness meditation, clear comprehensions meditation. Even you can attain nibbana. When you attain nibbana, when you realize nibbana, then the path and fruition, path knowledge will destroy the respective defilement. Then that will never appear. Then you can control your mind or not to have attachment or not to get angry, not to get angry, etc. Then you will be peaceful in your life, whatever objects you experience, agreeable or disagreeable objects, then, you know, lava and doza will not arise easily. Uh, if you completely destroy the lava and doza, it will be the best. Then may be able to practice Satipatthana and Sambhajanya meditations to realize Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you, Bente, for you. Sayada for your teaching today. Uh, we have some time left. Um, can we have, can we open the floor for questions, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Sayada. 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 For a Theravada Bhikkhu, can, can he uh, participate in elections? Yeah, they are not party, uh, participant. They cannot join in elections in Myanmar. All ordained persons are not allowed. Okay. When I meet Seattle, mm. uh, this is a question regarding uh, the practice of Metta Bhavana. Practice of Metta Bhavana. Yeah, Katna. For 
paying attention to specific uh, person in order to send meta. So that he has uh, first saying is that uh, the first saying is to pay attention on the heart area of the person that he wants to send meta. The second saying is uh, pay attention on her mind door in order to send meta. So her question is how to find the mind door of that person in order to send meta for her. No, no. And these two saying is it correct? Or mm -hmm. just pay attention on the face, on the happy face of that person. Mm -hmm. So for a beginner, how to pay attention in meta pawana? Mm. Uh, for especially for beginner, only just pay attention their happy face, smiling face or happy appearance. Is it? Then when she, when they pay attention the happy face, smiling face, etc., then they also can guess their mind is happy uh, like this. Then they pay attention five okay, five kindness, number of blood together. Is it? Uh, together in this way. Then sense matter. Actually, the objects of meta meditation is the uh, sata penyati, being objects. Hmm. Being can consider five kanda, namarupa together, okay. But not up to Brahmata, say only just pay attention to their appearance, smiling face, etc. Yeah, that's okay, no? For beginner. The next question is some say that when bad thoughts arise, we should abolish ourselves and know that's wrong and try not to arise the same bad thoughts again. Some say, when, some say when bad thoughts arise, we should just focus on the object of meditation, the breath, and the bad thoughts will disappear itself. Mm. Yeah, which yes, one is correct? Uh, when bad thoughts arise, we should admonish ourselves and eh? How that it, it, it is wrong and tries not to arise the same bad thoughts again. Since when bad thoughts arise, we should just focus on the objects of meditation, the breath, and the bad thoughts will disappear itself. Hmm. Depends on yogi's conditions. Uh, 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 yogi's conditions. When they are practicing, for example, the breathing meditation, anapana meditation, According to the nature, the hindrances, you know, Nivarana will disturb their mind. One of the Nivarana will appear, like the sexual desires or anger in their mind. That this is the nature, they will disturb, they, they will hinder. They are, they are hindrances, is it? They will hinder. Then, how to solve the problem? They are practicing anapana meditation. Okay, focus on anapana meditation objects. By focusing on the anapana meditation object, then your mindfulness and concentration become deeper. Then the kame chanda nivarana uh, sensuous thoughts, thoughts and eh? angry thoughts will disappear. It will, will disappear automatically. Then it will be okay. It will be okay. Then. When practicing anapana, you cannot solve the problem. Then, okay, you stop anapana practice for a while. Then you can pay attention, for example, like asuba meditation or meta meditation, all four elements. Uh, I explained many times, is it? The asuba meditation objects, they stay with these objects because of those meditation practice, then such kinds of thoughts will disappear, bad thoughts will disappear. And in this way, it's okay. But in some, some suggest when the Agusala Chaita arise, bad thoughts arise, only just pay attention to this bad thoughts. Uh, this is also okay. Uh, to solve the problem is to disappear bad thoughts from your mind. It is the, uh, the most important. Hindrances are also the objects of Vipassana and Satipatthana Sutta. Like they are Agusala Chaita no? and Nivarana Papa, Nivarana Sessions. Manupasana Sri Prana. Then sure, Agusala also can arise in your mind. Then whatever Agusala arise, okay, you can analyze the Agusala as they really are. Lova or Doza associated with many mental factors, etc. Then you can need to an analyze. And later, pay attention to the arising variations con can contemplate the Sanija Dukha Anata in this way. 
Then in this way, when samatha or upasana meditation become powerful, they cannot disturb your meditation practice frequently. But at the beginning, you are you need to fight with the hindrances. Uh, in this way, you need to stop. Later, when you realize nibbana, then it will not disturb your mind. Even you can control, you can control your mind not to arise to those kinds of bad thoughts. But be, before this, you need to stay with the satipatthana objects. When that is Yado, can a yogi at the same time practice two kamatana, for example, metabawana and anabanasati? So, can practice or not like this? Yes, can practice two kamatana at the same time? At the same time, me, not at the same time. For example, uh, main, practice, main meditation is, uh, parihariya meditation is anabana, for example. When you are practicing anapana meditations, then you can also practice, if, uh, practice uh, meta meditations for some time, for about five minutes, 10 minutes. Then when your mind becomes peaceful and soft, then you can continue to practice anapana meditation. Or in this way, meta practice will support anapana meditation to be successful, to be smooth. When you can practice anapana meditation, Successfully, you attain up to jhana's concentration state, for example. Then, based on this concentration, you practice metta. Even you can attain metta jhana. Or in this way, they are supporting each other. In this way, the other meditation subjects also the same, not only one. But at the same time, two meditation objects, not like this. Alternately. For example, uh, practice metta for some time. At the time, objects or metta. There's being, satapanya objects, will be satapanya objects. Then after they practice anapana, then will be breathing objects, not uh, being objects, breathing objects. And this way, different objects, not at the same time. But uh, within one session, within one day, then can practice different objects. When you become skillful, for example, casino attainment, even within one session, you can finish many attainment and many casino, and also many meta objects, etc. But uh, not at the same time, alternately. Mind can take only one object at, at one moment. When Dami Siado, Jason Siado mentions that uh, uh, Ananda Tera, uh, Venerable Ananda, thought the seven Piku who has attachment to Ambabali, uh, the mm. seven Gata, in order to let them uh, free from the attachment. So, what are the seven Gata? <laughs> uh, then I, I, will point, I will show the reference. Teragata Atagata, two volumes, page number 422. You find it there yourself, is it? <laughs> okay, Uduma does it will translate later. Teragata Atagata. Okay. Wandami Siado. During the process of meditation, Sometimes, because of external factor, the mind will have a rejection or the behavior of not following the system of the community. Because of this, sometimes when he wants to follow the system of the community, his mind also feels unhappy. Her mind also feels unhappy. So how to overcome this problem? Community. Please, uh, during the process of meditation, uh -huh. there are some external factors that make his her mind her, make her mind not happy in following the system of the community. So, if he follow the system, and he will feel unhappy when suffering. So, how to overcome this problem? Just tell me the monastery rule or rule and regulation. You mean? Uh, she didn't mention here. Maybe <laughs> the place of the, 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 the place. meditation place. Uh, where she stay. For example, in yes. meditation center. Okay, meditation center arranged the rule and regulation of the center, but they, she cannot follow. Then she is not uh, happy with the meditation schedule, something like this, is it? <laughs> she didn't mention clearly, maybe. Yeah. Uh, possible. Maybe she is from here, you think? Who do does it, you think? She is from here? I don't know, sorry. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, and then not, not happy me uh, 
uh, he maybe the depends on a uh, monastery schedule or then every for example country or any school they have their own law they are rules and regulations without rules and regulations sure then it will not be successful it will not develop every country also have their own law and their country's law if there's no law everybody will go there and do whatever they like then what will happen this country will not develop like Myanmar is it <laughs> Uh, and so they are fighting each other. So there must be law and regulation, rules. Then if they if they are not happy with the law and regulation in one school or meditation center, then they can find another country, another school, another meditation center, which they prefer, no problem. In this way, it's better. From the Missyado, if a lay person who is not the seller of uh, meat, but this lay person goes to the butcher house to buy meat. So would this lay person uh, commit the offense of five precepts? Or if he not commit the offense, would he have the bad karma? Mm. Means uh, he didn't buy from the market, but he buy directly from the butcher house. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> buying, buying from the shop is better. Uh, buying from the butcher house, they're a little bit dangerous. Uh, they are uh, for especially for Beku. This one is, uh, okay, uh, the Baba is to serve uh, everyone to come to, come to their house. The key. Uh, that is why for Beku actually not so suitable. So for for me, some meditation center, some priority school, there are many Beku Sangha yogis. Uh, for example, even maybe four, 500, 600. Then they order the meat from the Bacha's house. Then because according to their order, they also kill. Then actually they are not alone for all Bekus. They are not alone for all Beku. That is why then uh, the Buddha, if they don't have suspicion, they don't, they don't see, they are killing for the Bhikkhu Sangha. They are killing, they don't hear, they are killing the animals for Bhikkhu Sangha. They, they have no suspicion. Then at the time, that such kinds of meat are allowed to eat. But if they are such, such condition, they are not allowed for Bhikkhu Sangha. This is the main reasons we don't arrange the meat and our meditation center. Oh. If they can get the meat, pure meat, uh, like pansukula, then they are allowed to eat, no problem, like this. Uh, with the many uh, people together, then very difficult to manage, very difficult to arrange to get the pure, pure meat. Hmm. That is why the, the Becha house, Papa is here, okay, everybody who comes to their house, they will sell. Then when you go there, you are also uh, the indirectly will, will be uh, will agree with their killing like this. That's why in the shop is okay, in the market it is better. Still okay. But San Searo, San Searo says, okay, then in the city, their market, they kill the, the pork, uh, they feed the pack, they are selling the pork, etc. Then what happened? The intention is to sell uh, the people from this this city. <laughs> all, all the people from the city how to do. That is why they have uh, a little bit doubt regarding that. That is why eating with the vegetable is safe. The Sansa Rosa India. But they, they think this is very uh, extremely uh, India. Uh, the Buddha didn't mean like this. Or Sansa, Sansa also says like this. They must be careful with this one, okay? Not to have a doubt regarding this. this. And Amisiado, uh, he would like to know what is the meaning of Majima Yuka Jaku Watu Rupa? Majima Yuka Is it, uh, it Jaku 
Basata at the Tita face, at the standing face? Uh, maybe the, this one is a yeah, Majin Mayuka is a mid mid lifespan so Cheku Basara and Cheku Dora with it. Yeah. That's why if you wish to know in detail, then need to study Abhirama. This one is a, a Cheku Dora with the Aindo process regarding this explanation. There are a lot of explanations. Yeah, another one. When Dami Siado, about computer software uh, in the market, there are some shops selling software that has a uh, that has break the passwords that has broken make the password available for all. So, for a normal user of the software, if they buy this type of uh, software which already been activated by the seller, would they consider breaking the five precepts? Okay, uh, I don't ask you. Is this you answer this, I don't know the, the, uh, about computer software. <laughs> what is this? Yes, yeah, I, I also know skillful in about computer software. Okay. <laughs> I, I believe this is uh, about if um, otherwise they will have to pay, for example, a hundred US dollars for the software. But if you buy this um, this this special software, you only pay twenty dollars to to get a cheaper version, and then you don't have to pay a, a higher price, and you will still get to use the software. So would this be a like breaking the precepts because you're not paying the right price for it? Uh, then right pay or uh, right price is better, no? Yes, yeah, because yeah, normally you, you have to pay a hundred dollars, for example. Yes, yeah, it's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe mm, pay full full price is better. Then it will be safe, especially for Beku uh, Sangha. Mm, I don't know labor sense. Namisiado, he would like to know the calendar, the Thai calendar and the Myanmar. Buddhist calendar. Is there any differences? Uh, Sometimes one day different, like America and the our Asia side, ancient side. Is it? Uh, the, today is uh, Monday, uh, Sundays here, but uh, Saturdays in USA. Is it? Uh, because of maybe countries uh, the calendar maker, then different calendar sometimes. Then the Buddha says follow their country's calendar. For spending Wasa or Padimokha day also, they may be different in different countries. They only just follow their country's calendar. Seattle, during meditation, the legs, there is the legs have uh, this pain sensations one after another. How to overcome this pain in the legs during meditation? When you practice meditation, then later your mindfulness and concentrations become deeper. At the time, your body become automatically become very light. Then you can meditate comfortably and peacefully without pain. But at the beginning, so for beginner, they experience a lot of difficulty in meditation practice. Must be patient and practice to be mindful. And mindfulness and concentration will become deeper. Then in this way, practice. If uh, you feel painful feeling in your body, your legs, then you can change here and there during meditation practice, no problem. Thank you, Sayado. And thank you again, Sayado, for your teachings today and for Bande's interpretation. Sadhu, mm -hmm. sadhu, sadhu. Okay, then share the merits, okay? Okay. Thank you uh, very much uh, for your teaching. Repeat after, after me to share your merits to all beings. Idam me ponya Asawa kaya Asawa kaya Wahan hotu Wahan hotu Idam me ponya Idam me ponya Nipa nasa Nipa nasa Pitcha yo hotu Pacha yo hotu Mama ponya bagan 
Mama Bunyam Bagam, Sava Satana, Sava Satana, Pajemi, Pajemi, Pesa Bay, Pesa Bay, Mesa Man, Mesa Man, Bunyam Bagam, Bunyam Bagam, Labandu, Labandu, Sadu, Sahadu, Sadu, 